Today's uh, topic uh, will uh, I add one word um, to reflect uh, the focus of our symposium today. Uh, the word is Chinese. Uh, so my title today is towards a Chinese Chinese uh, eco feminism on um, Ma Jian's the dark role in Zhidao. Okay, maybe a little bit of introduction of Ma Jian uh, for those who are not familiar with him. Um, uh, Ma Jian is a diasporic uh, dissident uh, who was delighted uh, we entry into China uh, since nine years ago. I first learned about his work when I was a student uh, reading his uh, 1987 novella, uh, Liang Chu Ni Shi Tai Stick Out Your Tongue. And um, this work was about um, uh, situation in Tibet. And so that year, 1987, uh, he uh, was in Hong Kong. Uh, and since then, uh, he stayed most of, of his time outside of mainland China. And um, before the end of the last um, millennium, Ma Jian uh, stayed in Germany and then later uh, moved to London uh, where uh, he got remarried because he could not return to China. And in the recent years, uh, in the past uh, 12 years, Ma Jian has published uh, new no novels, one after another, uh, on sensitive topics. Uh, one is the 2008 uh, Beijing Coma, which is um, a story uh, based on the Tiananmen Square massacre, uh, 1989. And most recently, another controversial uh, novel is his China Dream, Zhong Guo Meng and published two years ago. And today uh, I'll focus on uh, his 2012 uh, novel, The Dark Road. Uh, first, I would like to cite a couple of uh, scholars um, studying Ma Jian's uh, novel. And the first one is a published article by Elizabeth uh, Cullingford, um, published in uh, the journal uh, Science, a journal of uh, women in culture and society. Uh, Cooling for uh, read Ma Jian's uh, novel together with Mo Yan's fault, uh, Hua. And she suggested that Ma Jian actually uh, neglects uh, the loop, the relationship between increasing population and environmental pollution uh, because Ma Jian was against a one child policy. And so uh, he ignored the fact that an increasing Chinese uh, population we uh, led to we will we, we lead to the worsening of the environmental pollution. Uh, although um, the author uh, reads uh, that each stage of the heroine uh, journey towards a feminist understanding of her predicament is constructed to illustrate China's uh, economical deterioration, um, she concludes that Ma Jian's novel is anti-feminist because um, she puts it in a context of um, um, the recent American uh, anti-choice uh, movement. And so she reads Ma Jian's novel uh, as an alignment uh, with the Western uh, anti-abortion uh, discourse. Um, my question here um, is actually, uh, I, I will ask uh, whether Ma Jian's anti-one-child policy is exactly the same as anti-abortion and so I will move to another um, article, and that is um, Shen Shuang. Uh, she presented uh, one year earlier than uh, the above mentioned article at Wittenberg University uh, in Ohio, USA. Um, in her presentation uh, entitled Life as a Journey, Ma Jian's uh, Dog Road, and the Global Translation of Ma Jian's One Child Policy, she cites uh, Mavi Dishasa's uh, and a professor of women's and gender studies by using her concept of the fractured uh, borders um, to argue that uh, actually in the novel, the female protagonist, uh, Mei Li, her body is a parasitic site uh, or uh, a, a ground, a common ground, a meeting place of the toxic environment and the human body. So the, the toxic environment is not, my understanding is that it's not only outside of our, of our, bod, of our body, uh, it's part of, and the human body is part of the toxic environment because uh, the human body has actually been intoxicated already. Yeah. So today I would like to um, borrow the idea of uh, eco-feminism to re-investigate uh, Ma Jian's novel. Uh, according to the definition uh, by Mary Meller, 
uh, in her introduction to feminism and ecology published in 1997. Uh, Ecofeminism is a movement that sees a connection between the exploitation and degradation of the natural world and the subordination and oppression of women. It emerges in the mid 1970s alongside second wave feminism and the green movement. Uh, actually, some other scholars of um, Ecofeminism will attribute um, the beginning uh, of uh, this idea in the third uh, wave instead of the second wave of feminism, depending how you uh, understand the relationship uh, between uh, feminism uh, and ecology. But anyway, um, of course, we can put Ma Jian's uh, novel alongside uh, with other uh, literary work uh, and uh, film production. Uh, including Mo Yan's uh, uh, Wa in the, uh, 2019 and a very famous uh, documentary series uh, directed by Chen Wei Jun. Uh, this is live Shangmen uh, four years ago. Now, um, focusing on the dark road, of course, Yin Zhi Dao, uh, depending on how you read it, um, besides the standard English translation of the dark road, you can understand it as uh, the way of the Yin. Uh, which I will talk about uh, by citing Ma Jian later, or if you put away the zhi 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 in between yin and dao, that apparently is about the, vag uh, the vagina. So um, I read the novel as a, as, as a dark fiction about a peasant family in the name of Confucius descendant, uh, exiling from forced abortion and uh, uh, sterilization under Chinese one-child policy, and the beginning and end dates of the policy was uh, uh, 1979 to 2016, more than um, uh, 30 years. It's actually uh, um, including the, the end date and the beginning is uh, 30, 38 years. So uh, in the novel, uh, we found um, extraordinary, extraordinary descriptions of the shocking violence of birth control practices in China, especially the excessive cruelty practiced um, by the birth um, planning uh, authorities. Here notice that I used uh, the term, uh, I translate 计划生育, uh, into birth planning instead of family planning. There is a difference, uh, I believe, uh, between family planning, 家庭计划, like that was practiced in Hong Kong before, and 生育计划 or 计划生育, birth uh, planning. Uh, there's a, a difference between, but then um, since I don't have time to explain them, um, also um, when we go along with the, English, the standard English translation, we just use the translator's choice and that is still family planning. But I just want to alert that um, there's a difference between 计划生育 and uh, 家庭计划. Okay, um, the environmental concern uh, of the Yangtze River, which we just uh, learned uh, from uh, Winnie about uh, the, uh, the three films about the Changjiang, uh, and also concern about poisoned food uh, or uh, alterated food of uh, 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 milk powder, uh, which is very uh, much known years, years ago uh, uh, for its uh, use of overdosage of the uh, uh, melamine uh, in the milk powder. And there are other kinds of food that um, appear in the novel that is also poisoned or fake. Okay. Um, the whole story is based on a true uh, uh, news uh, in Guangxi uh, that um, took place in 2000, uh, 2007 uh, in, uh, in a county known as uh, Bo, uh, Bo Bai. And then there was a huge uprising uh, among the peasants against uh, forced abortion and increased uh, financial penalties and local birth uh, family, I mean, family planning officials corruption. Uh, you can find the reporting of news uh, um, through the BBC uh, and the Guardians and other news websites. And here we notice that Ma Jian um, actually used a lot of uh, news he can find in London. And actually he also did a, um, a field trip yeah, he returned uh, to China when then he was still able to re-enter China uh, in 2007. Okay, and um, well, of course, he cites some uh, figures that uh, you can easily find online, like uh, 30 million forced abortions annually during the one-child policy years, and uh, 400 million births prevented, according to a, uh, a figure. Um, the ways uh, to do that, including injection of poisons into the fetus skull, induction of labor uh, by uh, pitocin and also destroy the um, 
buy your CD, by using Firecracker, that was uh, performed uh, by person husband and other ways. So um, it's not new uh, for us to know a huge scale of uh, female infant, uh, infanticide and late term abortion uh, during that period. Uh, we found all these uh, in the novel. Interestingly is that the male protagonist uh, is in the feminine name of Kongzi, Confucius, and his saying of the Bu Xiao Yu San Wu Hou Wei Da, but how you sample how we die is very well known. But interestingly, the novel um, goes uh, from family line continuation to a national discourse. And, and as to China, the Chinese government officially uh, trying to uh, uh, resurrect uh, Confucianism. Uh, what uh, you can really find in the uh, English version uh, as the first uh, journal article I cite. Uh, by criticizing Ma Jian for in Confucianism, and that's why uh, he was criticized uh, by the American critic uh, as anti-feminism, uh, is because in the English version here or there, you find that something is uh, missing. I think it's uh, intended so that uh, we'll be focusing uh, on, uh, on the violence of uh, the one-child policy. For example, uh, the mocking of uh, the male protagonist Kongzi or Kong Lao uh, about uh, his uh, every evening he would like to, when he was uh, traveling along the Yangtze River, he would like to watch uh, porn movies uh, in, an, uh, in, in other boats. So this kind of a mocking of Confucius was, um, uh, is, is missing in, in his version. And then uh, to a certain extent, we will mislead um, the reading uh, of uh, Western readers. But um, also I'm interested is um, I'm borrowing uh, uh, Leo Li's uh, uh, idea of the dark uh, tradition when he revisited uh, Lu Xun. Uh, but here the dark tradition referring to a Yao Chuan Tong uh, that is writing the, uh, the, uh, the, the dark side of the culture by using, uh, for example, in this novel, uh, mystical figures like Nu Wa or Nu Gua, depending how you read it, and uh, dreaming, uh, bad dreams about uh, uh, a grandmother who has already passed away, worshiping uh, the goddess. And interestingly, the goddess was originally a goddess of, of, of uh, fertility, but it's now uh, turned by the government into the same figure, was turned into uh, a goddess of, uh, of, of uh, uh, birth control. And then um, the author also suggests that a newborn baby spirit is also is the mother's soul free from her body. But most in interesting about this uh, dark tradition is um, the so-called fourth person narrative invented by Ma Jian. And uh, other than the, the third person narrative of the entire novel, because it has a paratext uh, in the Chinese original, it will be in a different form. In the English translation, is in both phase. And that is uh, from the perspective uh, of uh, a figure called infant spirit, Yingling. And uh, Yingling, uh, this spirit stay you know, in the female protagonist's um, uh, uh, body for five years uh, until the end of the novel. Um, of course, uh, it's easy to borrow for Foucault's bio, uh, biopower uh, theory uh, to read this story especially when it concerns the uh, medicalization uh, of the body um, and, uh, under the modern state's uh, uh, control. Uh, apparently, uh, one very often cited um, sentence uh, from this novel is Nan Ren Guan Yin Dao, Zheng Fu Guan Zi, zi Gong. And uh, when, uh, when a man penetrate into um, um, uh, a, a woman's uh, vagina, he actually ultimately is violating uh, uh, the law of the government because uh, the zigong was uh, managed by the government. So, uh, well, you can tell that um, whose control actually goes deeper. Uh -huh. um, in the novel, of course, uh, we all know that um, the China is, uh, has an economic miracle. Sorry, I'm also thinking the time I've realized that uh, according to my cell phone, I still have six minutes, so I have to go faster. So there, there are some citations uh, to share with you. And uh, you see examples like uh, breaking a newborn baby's limbs so as to sell it uh, to, to gangsters in the big cities and to become beggars to make money and uh, related to uh, child trafficking and, and for foreign ad uh, adoption. And uh, you know, the adoption uh, 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 practice in China has become a well-known uh, international uh, industry or business. Uh -huh. 
And not to mention uh, for the government, they impose taxes uh, and, and turning basically uh, uh, newborn babies into uh, commodities. And we, I would like to call this uh, as a birth economy. By birth uh, economy, we have all these uh, examples and going alongside with that is uh, uh, corruption and even the practice of cannibalism. Um, besides the forced abortion medical fees, um, we see, of course, uh, Ma Jian also mentioned uh, but the so-called uh, donations, actually but selling. And uh, this broad economy, of course, is well known also uh, in another novel by Yu Hua, Xu San Guan, Mai Shui Ji. And also um, there are scenes about uh, 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 percenter consumption um, and selling of uh, uh, baby girls uh, or fetters to restaurants for soup. And, and this, uh, well, um, researchers believe that this is more like imagination comparable to Mo Yan's uh, famous uh, novel, uh, Jiu Huo, The Republic of Wine. Um, before I enter into, um, take you on to the, the Yangtze River, uh, of course, there are other kinds of pollution, including air pollution. Um, the imaginary uh, site in the novel Tian Tang Zhen, uh, 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 in Canton, the Heaven Township uh, is uh, full of um, the uh, a chemical uh, known as dioxin. I think Hong Kong people since last year, uh, we are very familiar with dioxin. And one uh, uh, impact of the dioxin uh, uh, is uh, to cause uh, 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 non-reproduction. Uh, 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 non yeah. And um, so quickly enter into the river and um, in, in the early part of the novel, we find some very lyrical description uh, of the river and, and, and human and relating the mother, uh, the figure to the mother, to mother nature. And one sentence, for example, is uh, Mei, uh, Mei Li. Uh, here I quote, feels, uh, feels milk begin to leak from her breasts. She leans over the side of the boat and squeezes it out, drip, drip, drip. The river opens its mouth and swallows. So uh, the river as a site of production is of course not only alone in the Chinese civilization. The relationship between river and reproduction can also, for example, be found uh, in all major rivers in the world, for such as the Nile River. And um, the Yangtze River, of course, is well known, but the author described the three gorges, uh, described it as a, a dark coach uh, related to uh, the lower body uh, of a woman. The three gorgeous stem, which uh, Winnie also uh, talked about in uh, her study of the films uh, uh, earlier. Um, and a, a, another concern about that is, is the animal. So the, um, the extinction of the Chinese, Chinese uh, sturgeon, uh, which is under uh, class one protection, is going to disappear uh, after the building of the uh, three gorgeous stem. And to human beings, uh, according to Apple Daily's um, report last year, uh, 1.3 million people relocated uh, because of this uh, project. Uh, interestingly, in the novel, we, signed, uh, we find the description of riverscape, uh, but it's a garbage riverscape. We see, for example, in these quotations here, quote, in the bright morning sun, the rags and plastic bags sparkle with jewels. So it looks beautiful. This garbage looks beautiful. Uh -huh. Or the third one, the July sunlight has softened the earth uh, where um, the heat seeps into Mei Li's flesh. So the human body can feel uh, this mother nature, but surrounded or contaminated uh, by garbage. Um, also among this garbage is a well-known e-waste or electronic waste. Uh, the, the most uh, 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 well-known uh, incident is uh, this ship, you can, see, you can see on the PowerPoint, uh, M.M. Musk. This ship is, is a huge ship uh, uh, you, you used employed to um, uh, transport uh, Western, uh, including beaches, American electronic wastes into China and make uh, China um, as, has as much as 70% of the world's uh, toxic e-waste. Uh, of course, uh, one of the two most toxic uh, cities uh, towns in China has been uh, has stopped this uh, business after finding that there are uh, cause a lot of uh, health problems uh, in uh, in the area around Foshan and and these towns and uh, and the next one uh, we see how this uh, polluted water uh, related uh, to eco sickness. Um, 
including not only the river, but also uh, underground water and underground water. And, and, and that causes all kinds of disease um, um, to people, especially children, and all kinds of cancers, as you can see um, on the last point on this slide. Um, also, besides the beautiful river uh, garbage river site, we see the landfill scenes too. We see how uh, the golden sky above this uh, large amount of uh, uh, garbage that the landfill site resembles a dry lake nestled in a green forest. It was um, before uh, the opening of the Beijing Olympics. And then um, the author described uh, the protagonists uh, uh, on the site of, uh, uh, of a field of tulips and white chrysanthemum. And so the description of beautiful landscape, but in terms of the beauty, the so-called beauty, uh, of the garbage uh, is very interesting. And if we do some research of us, we can find he's uh, actually uh, talking about the Guiyu uh, place and I find time is up. So I'll try to finish it in two minutes. And so all these beautiful uh, uh, descriptions, uh, interestingly, uh, we are now coming to the end scene of the novel. Um, we find uh, the male protagonist uh, walking uh, on the top of uh, a great expanse of waste uh, including circuit boards, memory trips, copper and silver shells on mobile phones, Intel uh, microchips. And last, uh, we see he's holding up uh, his newborn baby, which is a motionless child, uh, a, a dead baby already, after staying um, really five years uh, in the mother's body. And eventually, we find Mei Li decided to, she wants to become independent and and interestingly, is the, the writing of Mei Li alongside with the mad dog uh, next to her. And she decided um, uh, to, to go to the city and find a new life. And But before she did that, uh, while uh, making up, she also gave a good bath, uh, a wash of the mad dog next to her. And hopefully the, the dog will appear as a lotus uh, from a muddy pond. So we find the resubjectification of the subject, Mei Li, as a, in, an animal. Yeah, and of course, um, uh, here appears again uh, um, the uh, Chinese uh, surgeon, this guy of fish, then uh, may they decide to want to become independent uh, woman and uh, light, the, uh, light the, um, the, the sturgeon that uh, swim up the Yangtze River and transformed herself. This transformation uh, reminds us, uh, of course, Kafka's metamorphosis uh, uh, from uh, a shy peasant girl uh, to a strong, capable woman. The second last line is an, a quotation from an interview of Ma Jian seven years ago. Uh, he says, quote, in Chinese philosophy, rivers uh, represent the life giving yin in yin zhi uh, the eternal female. But on my long journey down the poisoned waterways of China, I discovered that the rivers are treated with the same uh, or as, as a body of Chinese uh, women. So, um, Basically, the entire story is about a defenseless uh, woman's resistance to traditional patriarchism and state uh, uh, terrorism. So uh, quickly, we come to the last slide, and um, I would like to end my um, discussion today, uh, a quotation from Hu Shi. And uh, in this uh, article, Shi Yo de Wen Ti, uh, Hu Shi a, uh, he, he actually quote uh, from his friend, uh, which, uh, whom he did not name. But he said, of course, Hu Shi has another uh, one, but I would like to turn it into the third, is how to treat uh, the environment in which we live. Okay, so that's my quick presentation today. Um, it's a work in progress, and uh, thank you for sharing, uh, I mean, uh, my presentation today. Thank you.